Hi, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you two different ways that you can remove a background from an image in Canva for free. So the first way is the quickest and the most simplest and easiest way, and that's to sign up with a Canva Pro account. You can do this with a 30 day free trial. I'll have an affiliate link in the description below if you wanna sign up, and you can just cancel it after 30 days if you don't wanna continue it. The reason that we're gonna need a Canva Pro account is because on the free version, it doesn't have a background remover, and it also doesn't have the ability to download transparent images. So once you've completed your sign up for the Canva Pro account, all you need to do is go to create a design, I'm just gonna select the video template because it's 1920 by 1080 and it's gonna be perfect for our thumbnails. So I'm just gonna to navigate to photos here and search for people and choose a person to remove the background image. The great thing about Canva Free and the Canva Pro account, you get a variety of stock images that are actually worth quite a bit of money that to pay for the licensing on Adobe stock. So once you have your image that you wanna remove the background from within your canvas, all you need to do is go up to the top here and go edit image and straight up you're gonna see the background remover and all you need to do is click it then Canvas AI is gonna process the image and assess what needs to be removed. So we're gonna wait for that to complete, which will take a few seconds. Once that's done, you're gonna have two options here. You can use the eraser or the restore tool. So if we click on the erase tool, that will erase any parts that we don't want. If we zoomed in and we noticed there was some hair that we didn't like, we could adjust the brush size down a little bit and we could just take out some of these hairs to clean up the image if we wanted to. And then there's also the restore tool. So that means we can just restore back what we just erased. But as you can see, the AI has done a pretty clean job here. If we're happy with the cutout, we can go ahead and click apply and that will finish and complete the cutout. So once we're happy with the cutout of the image, we can go find a background within Canva. This is the free image here. We can right click and then send it backwards. Then if we just select the background image and right click and then we can set it as background. And then we go, we have a different background for the image of this girl. So super easy and quick way to do it all in Canva and the Canva Pro account. Now I'm gonna show you guys a different way if you don't have a Canva Pro account where we can still use these free Canva assets and also download a transparent image for free and bring it back into Canva. So for this, you're gonna need a Adobe account and you're gonna to need to create a Adobe Spark account. Adobe Spark is pretty much a competitor of Canva and they do offer paid tiers of the app. But like Canva, they do have a lot of great free features too. And one of them is being able to remove a background image and also download a transparent image. That's what we're gonna be using today. So I'll leave a link to Adobe Spark in the description below if you wanna sign up to that. Once you've created your account, you wanna create a new project and we're gonna do a 1920 by 1080. So once you've got your project window open, you can upload a photo. So we're gonna be using the image that we had from Canva. Easy way to do this is to drag and drop the image straight into Adobe Spark. Right up here, it's gonna say edit image and we're gonna see replace and remove background. We wanna select remove background and Adobe Spark's AI system is gonna process just like in Canva and remove the background image. And we have the same tools here. We have erase and restore. So we can do the same thing where we go restore the image and it's gonna give us a cutout. See, it looks pretty clean here as well. So erase. Can see that we can click erase there and you can see if we need to do any adjustments as you can see it did some a really good job if i zoom in here you can see it did a really good job around the hair you also have a few options here where you can invert the image if you just wanted the background for some reason before you download it you want to make sure you untick add to background hit download start download so what it's going to do is going to give you an option to choose between a solid color png or a transparent png we want transparent so we're going to click that one so if you want to edit this in Canva, what we can do is we can jump back into our design in Canva. I've got our background image right here. Then we just upload our image that we got from Adobe Spark. You can use the upload media button here. I like to drag and drop the file directly into Canva. It will recognize it and upload it and drag it straight in. And as you can see, we can drag it here and make her a bit bigger. So there, that's the free way of cutting her out and putting it in Canva if you don't have a Canva Pro account. So that's two different ways that you can remove a background from an image using Canva or using Adobe Spark and using Canva. Like I said earlier, if you want to sign up to my affiliate link to Canva Pro, it'll be a link in the description. You can get that free 30-day trial and sign up for the Pro account. That's what I did, and I ended up keeping the subscription just because I use all the accounts. I use Canva, Photoshop, all the Adobe things because I'm a designer and I'm also a video editor. So I find them super helpful. So I hope you enjoyed this one and it was helpful for you today. And good luck and reach out if you need any help.